Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use the standard deviation indicator on TradingView. Whether you're completely new to technical analysis or just want a refresher by the end of this short tutorial, you'll know how to add this tool to your charts and understand why it can be so useful in analyzing market volatility. So let's dive right in. First things first, go ahead and open up TradingView. You can do this either in your web browser or through their app, whichever you prefer. TradingView is one of the most popular platforms out there for charting and analyzing various markets, from stocks to crypto and more. It's widely used because it's so intuitive and flexible. Once you're on the homepage, you'll see a menu at the top. Take a moment and find the Products tab. This is where you'll access a whole range of features TradingView offers. Don't worry if you've never explored this before. Clicking Products brings up several options, but what we're interested in today is adding indicators to your chart. Next, look for the Indicators option. It usually appears right above your chart when you've opened one or you can find it through the products menu. Clicking indicators opens up a search panel and honestly this is where TradingView shines, you'll find everything from the classic moving average to more advanced tools. Indicators can help you see trends, spot reversals and understand how volatile a market is and that's where standard deviation comes in. Now in the search bar that pops up type in STDDEV. Just the shortened version for standard deviation, don't worry, TradingView knows what you mean. Standard deviation is an important statistical measure that tells you how much price values deviate from the average over a certain period. In trading, it's a neat way to gauge volatility. If the line is rising, the market's getting choppier. If it's falling, things are calming down. After you type STDDEV, you'll see the standard deviation indicator pop up in the results pane. Go ahead and select it. You might notice that there are sometimes a few similar tools, but for basic analysis, stick with the one simply labeled Standard Deviation or STDDEV by TradingView. Clicking it adds the indicator right onto your chart, usually at the bottom area below the price candles or bars. And there you have it. That's all there is to it for adding Standard Deviation to your chart. But let's pause for a moment, just in case you're thinking, wait, is that really it? Yes, the process is that simple. The magic, though, is in what this indicator can show you. Imagine you're driving on a winding road. If the twists and turns get sharper, you need to adjust your speed and pay more attention. Standard deviation works kind of like a dashboard for price movement. A rising line means more fluctuations and therefore higher risk and potentially greater opportunity. When it's low, the market is moving smoothly, and you may want to adjust your strategies accordingly. If you're just learning, take some time to play with the settings, maybe try different time frames or look at the indicator during events like earnings releases or major price moves. Don't worry if you don't see dramatic changes at first, markets have their quiet and noisy periods, and standard deviation helps highlight those for you. Alright, I hope this walkthrough helped you get started with the standard deviation indicator on TradingView. If you found this tutorial useful, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below, I always check and reply. Subscribe if you want more trading tips and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.